weight division. Vincent Schack in the slightly longer black trunks. Riley in the black Valetudo shorts. And it's Vincent Schack taking the center of the cage early. To go low to the body there is Riley early on. And you can definitely see that striking background just from his stance here in the opening seconds. Rips to the body again with the right hand. Here, Chris Fields in the corner. They were calling for the level change. Didn't quite manage it that time, though. Good footwork from Riley to get out of the way there. Yeah, the, the instruction was there it is. So definitely a game plan here from the Polishman to get that takedown. Finally gets a cinch on a single leg, but straight away nicely defended, looking at fighting these grips. It's such an important thing to be able to do is defend the takedown early by controlling what your opponent is doing with his hands. Stop those hands from getting connected. With the hands just floating out, without them being connected, you don't really have any control. Once those hands are connected together, now you have power, and that's what you're seeing. Very, very nice there. Looked like Camille is grabbing onto the far side ankle, and it stops the opponent from being able to stand up and create any sort of base there. Riley doing a good job of getting back to his feet, but Camille is on him like a rash right now, and be sure he's not going to let him off. Nice knee to the head there from Camille. Riley's going to have to be very careful of those if they come up around the outside, using his hand as a, a shield there if he can. Yeah, this is an interesting position that we see a lot, and what you really need to be looking out for is what that left arm of Riley's doing. It's stopping Camille from coming round to the back position. It is the only thing right now that is stopping Camille coming round to the back position. If Camille can shrug that wizard position off, it's going to give him free access to the back, and you better believe that's exactly what he's looking to do right now. Doggedly chasing the takedown is Camille Vincent Schack here. Switching to a single leg on the opposite side now. A little bit of a, a front headlock position here for Riley, but not connecting the hands, so definitely not committing to this right now. Probably a good idea. He needs to be trying to control those wrists and stop Camille from being able to get to a stronger position. But so far, so good for the, the, the defensive wrestling from Riley, but very much on the defensive here. Yeah, we opened our card last night with another Team KF versus Next Gen Bout. And of course, it was Team KF victorious there, so I'm sure Camille will be looking to keep that momentum up, and Riley will be looking to get one back for his team. Everything to play for here. Yeah, still aggressively attacking this single leg. You know, what you saw Camille do, dragging him off of the fence there, it's a very good strategy to stop Riley from being able to continue to use the fence to help him balance himself. You know, he's not having a huge amount of success, especially with this single leg position. If he can pull Riley off of the fence and then cut the angle, it significantly increases the probability of finishing this takedown. And they'll up to separate there and they'll go toe to toe again and again with the right hand to the body. Oh, beautiful combination. Drops his man with the left hand as Riley. Yeah, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that the striking advantage goes to Luke Riley. Camille's got to be looking to shoot for another takedown early because he's in a lot of danger striking. Those shots were so precise, and he's setting everything up with the right to the body, and it's over! Referee Rich Mitchell has seen enough. Camille protesting the stoppage there, but he was dropped hard a couple of times in that first round, Dan. Yeah, it really just looked like Riley was outclassing and he really had his range in. There was a lot of precision in those strikes. He wobbled him a little bit earlier, and then, you know, there's a bit of protest in there from, uh, from Camille, but, you know, a stoppage is a stoppage. He was certainly hurt. And it was that right hand, the rib roaster to the body, that set up those combinations for Luke Riley. Let's take a look back at some of the action. A crisp left hook dropped in the third time. Easily scoring on the takedown. A rapid fire offense from Riley here. You know, Camille may have a shot there. He, he did appear to be looking to defend himself. But look, the referee has got a much better view of things than we do. So we, we're going to defer to the judgment of Rich Mitchell there. But regardless, a huge debut win for Luke Riley. Here's our MC, Mr. Hal Chaplin, with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, calls a stop to this contest after three minutes and 39 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, Luke Ryan.